Hello, this is Brian Vickery in sunny Denver, Colorado, and I am here with another video log. Today, we are going to talk about how a little hummingbird can teach us about finding, engaging, and maintaining a relationship with our prospective clients. So let's start out with the finding part. The first thing you have to do is find the habitat where this hummingbird is going to be. So in this case, I found a place with trees. I may look for a place that has flowers nearby and establish that as a habitat. Maybe I will observe and see if any hummingbirds come around. In the case of a client, you may want to find out what networking events or conferences your clients like to attend. Or if you prefer to do things online, maybe you just find a LinkedIn groups where your clients tend to frequent. So now you've found their habitat. The next step you want to do is actually blend in with that habitat. So in this case, we have a hummingbird feeder, and you can see where there may be natural flowers nearby. This hummingbird feeder is also constructed with flowers. We want to make it attractive, yet still blend in to the overall environment. In this case, whether you are attending networking events, LinkedIn groups, or whatever, the first thing you want to do is observe that habitat, okay? You want to blend in with it, but you don't necessarily want to go in there with a bullhorn saying, saying, hey client, here I am, rah, rah, this is what I do, yay me. Instead, take a little bit more demure approach, okay, and observe how your client interacts within that habitat before taking it to the next level. Now, once we've blended in with a habitat, it's time to let that client, or in this case, this hummingbird, know that we're open for business. Now, by doing that, you can see I've actually put this fluid in here, and this is going to be very attractive to a hummingbird. This hummingbird knows that this isn't an empty feeder anymore. This feeder is now open for business. In the case of your client, now that you've established your habitat, now that you've blended in a little bit, now you can start to engage. You're still not going in with a bullhorn, but you're starting to engage and you're letting them know what you do. They already have an idea because you're in the same environment that they are. But now you can start being very specific about some of the things that you do. Listen to how they talk with other people. Maybe you can identify business problems that they have that you know you have a solution for. So look at that from the standpoint of finding that habitat. Now we've blended in. Now we've let them know that we're open for business. The final thing I'll say is you have to be consistent. If I put this feeder here, I've gone through all this work of identifying where the hummingbird is, I've attracted them to me, but if I let this feeder go empty, I'm no longer consistent. I'm no longer feeding the hummingbird, so the hummingbird will go somewhere else to take their business. So in this case, the same thing happens with a client. Once you've engaged them, maybe you've even pointed them to your blog, or you've been very active on a LinkedIn group, or you've attended networking meetings on a, on a consistent basis. Now, all of a sudden, you start letting a few networking events slide by. You start letting a few weeks slide by without providing fresh content to your blog or on a LinkedIn groups in terms of questions. In that case, your client is going to start looking elsewhere to take their business. So, find that client's habitat. Blend in, let them get used to, it, to you at first. Let them know that you're open for business. And then by all means, stay consistent. So this is Brian Vickery. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson about how a hummingbird can teach us how to find, engage, and maintain long relationships that bring those clients back day to day and season to season, just like a hummingbird. This is Brian Bicker in Denver, Colorado. You have an outstanding day. Thank you.